Our oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, but over 80% of them remain unexplored. In fact, it is often claimed that we know more about the surface of Mars and the Moon than about the ocean floor on our own planet. Have you ever wondered why we know more about the universe than the ocean? We do too. So we looked into the question and found out some interesting information for you. Why don't we explore the ocean? For starters, there's a lot of it to cover, and even though we've had the time and likely resources to do so, it would be incredibly expensive. Only about 0.05% of the ocean has been mapped with the highest resolution of sonar imaging. Why don't we just do the rest? Because it is not that simple. Even more difficult to understand is the fact that we can't get down there to explore with our eyes. In some places, the pressure of the ocean and gravity equals that of 50 jumbo jets resting right on top of you. And that's before you even consider the fact that at great depths there is absolutely no visibility. It's not just a matter of presenting a light source, it's also about how far said light can stretch, which at the bottom of the ocean is not very far. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not happening. Scientists and researchers are already planning to map and explore the far reaches of the ocean floor. Thanks to modern technology, the process can be much more efficient and accurate. We may even be able to locate valuable resources that can be retrieved for use back on the surface, such as copper, nickel, and cobalt. Why have we explored space so much? Well, one of the primary reasons space exploration has been such a large part of history is that telescopes like the Hubble telescope are able to see distances of 13 billion light years. Although many scientists do believe that there's much more of the universe to explore, comparing 13 billion light years to the ocean only being 7 miles deep underscores how much technology has developed for space exploration rather than ocean exploration. Part of this could also be attributed to history. The initial push to discover space began between the US and Soviets in the 1950s and 60s. The Soviets first launched Sputnik into space, and President Kennedy wanted to restore US confidence by showing that they could not only match the Soviets, but also surpass them, leading to massive investments in our space program. Space also seems to hold a mystical glamour that the ocean doesn't have for us. Perhaps it's because there have been far more television shows and movies about space travel and life on other planets than there have been about ocean living. Space, due to its vastness, also offers the possibility of discovering new intelligent life forms. Although we have most likely not discovered all life in the ocean either, humans have spent years pondering if there is life on other planets similar to our own. Where is ocean exploration headed? With developing technologies, we have more possibilities for ocean exploration than ever. In fact, we could map the entire ocean floor for $3 billion, which is the average cost of a Mars mission. The key is dedicating the time and resources. Exploration missions like James Cameron's dive to the Marianas Trench must be higher on our priority list to really make new discoveries. We still have 65% of our planet let to map and explore. Emerging ocean exploration technology One of the major new technologies are drones, which are helping us make headway into ocean exploration, as they have in space. Drones also are being designed to withstand the pressure at lower ocean depths, which could make exploration of the deepest parts of our world a reality. Other technology for further exploration includes fluorescence detecting cameras to find glowing fish, swarms of mini-robots finding water information and lost objects are dangers to the ocean and soft grippers for gently collecting ocean specimen. The fluorescence detecting cameras are able to filter our certain wavelengths of light, which enables us to detect fish that only emit certain light in the depths of the ocean. These cameras work with artificial blue light to enhance the fluorescent color. 
With technology like this, we'll be able to discover far more life in our oceans than we ever knew existed. Jellyfish are one of the more unusual and mysterious animals of our ocean. In a quest to better understand their movements and the water around them, scientists have developed suction cups that can attach to the top of jellyfish as they move about the ocean. Part of the true genius behind this technology is that jellyfish regenerate the top layer of their bell-shaped top, so the suction cup will eventually be shed and float to the water's surface. In the process, it alerts scientists of its location so that they can pick it up and examine where the jellyfish has been and what we can learn from the waters that it traversed. It will, however, take quite a bit of time, dedication, and resources to really understand the oceans that make up a major part of our world. More importantly, it will take a lot of scientists and researchers working together to achieve one common goal, but it may be possible that one day we will no longer have explored more of space than of the ocean. Did you like this video? Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to not miss any more videos. See you soon. Take care.